and welcome to my channel. This week I'm taking you on a trip with me to the Festival of Quilts which took place in Birmingham from the 3rd to the 6th of August and in this video I'm going to show you around and show you the stalls and the quilts and then we'll catch up at the end and I'll tell you a bit about what I bought and also the workshops that I taught so I really hope that you'll enjoy seeing what a quilt festival in the UK is like. Now I spent the weekend of the 5th and 6th of August here so the footage you see is a mixture of what I did on the Saturday and the Sunday. So first of all I'm going to show you some of the stalls that caught my eye. So this one was Lily Rose dolls, beautiful kits for making such lovely animals and then there was Bramble Patch and the Cotton Patch which just had so much lovely fabric, lots of pattern inspirations and Yes, I wanted to make everything. <laughs> this shop called Oh So Sweet was a new shop to me and I actually bought from them online just last week and I'll show you what I bought from them later on. But I love how they did their fat eighth packs in those special sweetie shaped boxes. And of course I visited Ashmead Designs and it was so lovely to catch up with Susie and Colin and to see all the lovely kits that they had on display and lots of new things that they're working on. And it was really exciting to see the Bluebell Block kit that Susie from Ashmead Designs has put together and she had that for sale on her stand and then she has sold me the rest of them and I'm going to sell them on my website. So that's really exciting. And of course her wonderful designs, the fruit, they're just so beautiful and this I love this fan design and the fabric that she used for it, I really really love this. And she just had so many wonderful ideas, I spent quite a long time looking at everything on her stand and it was just so lovely to catch up with them. So next I had to visit my favourite thread company which is Wonderful Specialty Threads and their stand was really beautiful this year. They had packed it full of absolutely everything, it was a real riot of colour, there was so much to see and I saw lots of new thread lines that I haven't tried from them before and it's really given me some ideas and inspiration and I'm excited to try some different threads this year. I've been really inspired by a lot of surface embroidery on quilts and on a lot of vintage quilts that I've seen recently and I think that's something I'm really going to bring more into my work. For me, Festival of Quilts is almost like the end of the quilting year and the beginning of the next one. It feels a bit like the January of the year in a strange way. It's reignited a bit more passion in me, giving me some new ideas and new things to think about. So. Yes, I've come away with lots of things that I want to try out and I'm making plans again for things I want to do. That's why it feels like a bit of a new year start, a new quilting year start, if you know what I mean. If you've never visited a festival or a quilt show before, I really suggest that if you can make it to one one day, give it a go. I think you'll really enjoy it. I certainly do. There's just so much to see. And also, if you live somewhere 
like I do where there aren't that many quilting or crafting shops this is a great opportunity to sort of save up throughout the year and then you can spend a bit while you're there. So now on to the quilts and oh my goodness they were spectacular. This quilt won the novice quilt category and that means that the quilter has only been quilting for three years or less and this one was made by Antari Foster and it's absolutely stunning. And this miniature quilt was the winner of the miniature quilt category and it was certainly one of my favourites of the entire show. I absolutely loved the detail in this. There were so many quilts to look at. I really did spend most of Saturday looking at the quilts. So I've just captured a few of the winners here in this video. But it's really worth going just to see the quilts. There, there's so much inspiration, so much absolutely beautiful work. I came away feeling really inspired to do more hand quilting and I bought myself a little tool to help me with that which I'll show you later on. And this was the overall best in show winner for 2023 and it was called Antics at the Quilt Show and this quilt just really captured everybody's hearts because it just had such a great sense of humour about it. It is full of sunbonnet sues at a quilt show and there are so many mini quilts in this as well. There is so much detail in it but, but also so much fun in it as well and everybody just really loved this quilt. So next I visited the Liberty Stand and saw their beautiful ranges of quilting cottons and the amazing quilts that have been made with them to showcase the fabrics and it was a really beautiful stand and very very inspiring. My favourite was this EPP quilt made with the Heirloom One collection, this one here. It was made by Suzanne Campion and it is just absolutely spectacular and it took her apparently 800 hours to make it and you can really see that it is a work of art. Mm -hmm. 
So after doing all of that, it was time to set up for my workshops. So on the Saturday, I taught a hex petal flower workshop. And on the Sunday, I taught a beginner's class where we made hexagon flowers and focused on using hexiform, which I used in both classes. But this one, the hex petal flower class, focused on dealing with the curve and how we can make that easier with hexiform and a glue pen. So I really, really enjoyed teaching both classes and I'm really grateful to everybody who chose to come along. They were really well attended and it was so much fun and I'm really looking forward to coming back next year and teaching again. So a massive thank you to you if you chose to come to my class this year. So I'm back home now in the sewing room and I'm happy but pretty tired. It's been such a wonderful weekend and what really blew me away was everybody who came over and said hello to me because I went to the show on my own. I didn't have a friend or a family member with me so I did spend a lot of both days walking around on my own which is fine but those people who took the time to come and say hello to me and chat to me just really, really made my day. It was so special to meet so many lovely people, so many like-minded people. And yeah, it was really, it was, it was wonderful. So a massive thank you to you if you're one of the people who came to say hello. You really made my day. So yeah, I'm back, I'm tired, um, but really happy and can't wait to do it all again next year. So I'll show you what I bought. I bought just a few things. Um, the first thing I bought was a couple of fat quarters of Liberty fabric. I bought this one. It reminded me of the Betsy print, um, but it isn't, but it does look a bit Betsy-ish. <laughs> These are the quilting cottons and this was the Emily Bell, but in this mint color, which I didn't have. And I bought these from Bramble Patch, so that was nice. And I told you before about the shop Oh So Sweet. I'll show you what I bought from them online just before the show, because I, I didn't know that they were going to be at Festival of Quilts, otherwise I would have waited. <laughs> but I bought one of their, what are they called? Pick and Mix Packs, and I bought the Poppy Cotton pick and mix pack. I'm sorry about the glare, you can see the fabric because it's under, it's under plastic, but isn't the box really sweet? <laughs> it's such a good idea. This is a pack of fat eights and there are 21 different fat eights in the box. I just thought it was such a, an interesting and eye-catching idea to put them in a box, a pick and mix box of fabrics and you don't see many fat eight bundles they're uh, a bit few and far between, so this was a lovely treat to myself. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to add some of them into my Quilt As You Go quilt, which I'm still working on, but yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of them, but I'm going to save them for something lovely. But I also bought something from their stand as well. I bought this Kiss clasp sewing box pattern 
and it also comes with the clasp which is really handy and um, so I just thought that was so sweet and they had one on the stand as an example and it was made with poppy cotton and it was made with a cheetah print which was really lovely so they didn't have that print available on their stand so I'm going to see if I can buy it online but I just thought that this would be a really fun project sorry about the glare again so I'm really keen to try that out of course I stopped by the Wonderful stand and picked up some of the thread that I haven't used before I picked up the Alana wool acrylic spools and I got a nice little selection of colours so I got this purple and green, a blue, and then also a pink, an aqua and a yellow. And I'm really interested in trying this out and doing some decorative embroidery. And of course I will show you what I do with it here and on Instagram when I get around to that. And that might be something that ends up in my quilt as you go quilt as well. Um, another thing that I bought was this lovely pin dish, magnetic pin dish, which when you see it you'll know why I bought it, but it is hexagon shaped with this really beautiful sewing machine on it and it has legs and a magnet underneath and it will collect your pins. And this was is handmade by Emily Cross Ceramics, there's her card and she had so many different designs of magnetic pin dishes she had magnetic seam guides made from ceramic but with um, a magnet underneath and she had needle minders as well and her store was really lovely so many lovely designs it was difficult to pick because she had some vintagey floral ones as well and I thought for a handmade item like this, it was really reasonably priced, so I definitely recommend. I'm not sure if she has an in she has an Instagram. Uh, I'll link below. I'm not sure if she has a website, but um, sorry if that wasn't in focus. There we go. Well, I'll link I'll link everything that I bought below as much as I can, or the shop at least, so you can check it out if you're interested and. I'm, I'm showing this just to support other small businesses um, because I think that's really important. And then the last thing that I bought was a real treat to myself. Um, but actually it's going to be, um, it's an early birthday present. I have a birthday coming up and um, yes, my husband said that this can be an early birthday present <laughs> because it was um, a real treat. So you may know that I've been on the search for the perfect thimble for a number of years and there have been times when people have suggested uh, on YouTube probably in the comments or on Instagram or wherever various different thimbles to try and I've tried so many but one of the places that has been suggested to me many times was thimbles for you because they are handmade silver thimbles and the lady that makes them makes them in so many sizes and she really does make them to fit and they're very bespoke and she's based in America and I just wasn't really able to buy from her because I'd have to take a chance, I'd, I'd have to measure myself and just hope that it would fit and she has a great service where you can send it back and everything like that but it's costly the postage and it is a silver item but I saw that she had a stand and I've never seen her stand at Festival of Quilts before so I just thought, well, it's now or never really. So I went and had a chat to her and this was the first thimble that she, she took a look at my finger and she picked this one up first. And I tried a few others on as well afterwards, but this was the one that just absolutely fit perfectly. It's a silver thimble, which allows your nail to fit in. It's open here it's closed on the back and the design on it is flowers and a hummingbird and 
I tried it on, it, it fit perfectly, it's not going to fall off, it feels really comfortable, my finger just reaches the end and she had a little quilt sandwich in a hoop with a quilting needle to try out when you try your thimbles on which, which is a really great idea and straight away I could do the rocking motion and <laughs> the other lady on the stand said wow look at her go and I said I've never really been able to master that technique because I've never had the right thimble. Um, I, I'm currently using a leather thimble which is fine, it works really great, but this one, it just fits like a glove and it's it's really special, it, it honestly felt like magic <laughs> um, when I tried it on and yeah, I'm, I'm really in love with this. So I think this is going to be with me for the rest of my life, this is my thimble, my special one and yeah, I'm really, really delighted to have this and yeah, it's really special. So that was a that was a big purchase, but it's a, a lifetime piece for definite. So that's all I have to share. Um, just a massive thank you again if you came to say hello. It was a great, great show. Um, I know some people were disappointed that they weren't able to buy the Ashmead Designs Bluebell pack because they weren't at the show, but I do have some um, that will be on my website now that you can purchase and if they do sell out I will be able to get some more from them as well in the future so fear not <laughs> um, but thank you for the support and for um, all the encouragement with this um, yeah it's really it's really lovely that a lot of people wanted to buy it so yeah thank you so much and yeah I hope that you're doing well and that you're having a nice summer and if you were able to go to visit Festival of Quilts. I hope you had a great time. And if you weren't able, I hope you can next year. I'll definitely be there. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And yeah, so let me know in the comments, what did you think of the show? Um, were you there? Are you going to go next year? Tell me about your plans and I'll see you again really soon. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye.